Hello, it is Tuesday morning and we are heading to Kobe today and we're gonna take the Helication Kansan! So excited. Um, and forgot to do a room tour here, but we're at the APA Hiroshima something um, Bobbers. Hiroshima something Ohashi Ekame or whatnot. And here's Diego <laughs> <laughs> anyway, close the door. That's the door when you come in. I'm gonna do a quick room tour. And this is your closet, and here's the restroom. The door opens out, like all of them, and it's pretty basic. Hello. And then here's Brandon eating his breakfast. Biscoff. Yeah, uh, Diego had these tarts for breakfast. Here's the desk with the light. Here's the bed. I had to put my luggage on it because there's no room in here. Look, there's like no floor space. And here's the TV, and we had to open the window because there's no AC in here, even though when I booked Expedia, it said that there is AC. So, very disappointed in that. So, we're ready to complete. Uh, but yeah, that's everything. This is the whole room. Okay, we're heading out. Okay, hard brand, and we just got some curry pans, regular and spicy. And then Brandon wants to get this, but it's huge, so we got some smaller version that's heavy. So, I think there's a filling in it. But look at this place. So good, even churros. We're now at Hiroshima Station waiting for the hell of getting check out. And I got a drink, a warm drink, blendy. I hope it's like a cafe au lait and not, I didn't see anything that was a cafe. It is a cafe au lait, I didn't see it. And they gave me a piece of chicken. And I just had a melon pan that was the size of my face and it was really good from that first round. I thought it was called heart round, but it's called first round. You're gonna have your curry pan now? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't show you my curry pan because I was hungry and I ate it. Little window opens, I've never seen it before. I know. There's only like one little window cover there. It sounds oh, This color is so amazing and cute. See it. Look at the floor. God, it's so cute here. I love that no one else cares. Hello, Kisha Kansan. Seriously, yeah, we're going to the first one. Oh, that was not. <laughs> we forgot about this part. Yay! Hello, kitty! So much stuff. What is this? What is this? You can eat. Oh my god, everything's so cute! Yay! 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 I want everything! Doing the Hello Kitty capsule now. Oh, this one is that, and this one is either of this. Oh. You can lose by getting this. It's oh. one or the other. This one is the pin on her. So, which one? Is, how do we get this one? It's in here. It's one or the other. Oh, so, but we'll still get something. Yes, obviously. Oh, so this side's the pin. Yeah, this side's pin only. And this side's this thing. Okay, I'll just do it. Push me luck! Are you recording? Yes. Yes! Oh, Brandon wants to sleep, but I want him to eat the curry pan. Okay, fine. Try Brandon's curry pan now from Perth Brown, the bakery we just went to. And this is the spicy one. And we're back because we're gonna get the bento. Because I want a Shinkansen bento where you can keep it, and I think it's in the baggie behind them. I'm so excited! Pull it out! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> There's the unboxing because I already folded out. And now look, I can't open mine. I can't open mine. I need two hands for this action. Seriously, what is wrong with you? Oh my god, so kawaii! You have stickers, you have the utensils, you have rice with some fish cake and egg, and I think that's a meatball, a hot dog, and a mame, and I think it's some jelly dessert. It's a dagima! My seat now, and I'm gonna have my Pelicanation Kensen Bento. And look at these chopsticks! They were half the size, and then you pull up this clear part. Now they're full size chopsticks! Oh, that's so cute! Can't handle. Don't want to eat, but must eat. Welcome to Kobe. Look how happy everyone is. Because I said I wanted to vlog. <laughs> Hello. We are now, I think, either in or around the Kobe Chinatown. And we're looking for Kisson Chiki or whatever it's called. The place with the Spider Man on top for some Kobe beef and skewers. We found Krispy Kreme and we got an UG matcha cake donut and then this brulee donut. Custard brulee donut. And they didn't get anything. But look how cute. Look at these Sesame Street ones. And then they have like these little ones for Easter. It's look how nice it is. Oh my goodness. There's Jock. One piece for 500. Oh my god, do I want Peking Duck? <laughs> look how nice. There's a gazebo. There's a piggy. Oh, should we get some dumplings now? Yes. Time runs. I should look at bubble tea on Yelp. This is the Go Kobe beef place that has the skewers that apparently people talk about. Specifically tourists. <laughs> and there's a line out there. Oh my god, the line got longer! Lunch time. And lunch. What do I do? What Kobe do I do? beef tapping? This is the 1500 yen Kobe beef. It is the Kalbi tapanyaki. <laughs> Ooh, it's a Kobe beef from this from Kobe Chinatown. Uh, I'll just say it doesn't melt in your mouth. Or chewy. How do you like street Kobe beef? Not really that great, right? I didn't think it was that great. If you want good Kobe beef, Wakoku was pretty good. It melts in your mouth. This one, I couldn't even bite. Yeah, this is like one tenth of the price, so you get what you pay for. So we are joining the line. But she said, we're in line for dumplings at this place, Rosso Yoki. Maybe I butchered it. Maybe I did. Dumplings. It's a minimum order of three. 
It's a bun unboxing. It's just a row of three buns. They're very rushy in there. I know. Ooh, ah. I can't even we see. We found a bun capsule. We got one last time and it was so squishy, but then we lost it. Where we lose it from? At the at the shrine. So we said it was an offering to a shrine, so I would be less upset. And now we buy this one. What do we get? <gasps> Classic. It's green though. It's green. What oh it? man, it's a spinach bun. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Someone tell me what this one is. Dan and I got one of these strawberry daifukus with custard. What is this game called? Kobe Salatsuki. It's not just found at Tsukiji Market. Try this strawberry daifuku from Kobe. Not as creamy as the one from Tsukiji. It may look similar, but it's not the same. It's too thick, the mochi puff. The one at Tsukiji is very thin with a lot of custard in it. I haven't even gone to the custard part. Okay, bigger bites, Wendy. Mmm, left a leaf in there. Kobe Chinatown and the guys. Ooh. 200 yen Peking duck because they're making it here instead of having it pre wrapped. Yes, please. I'm excited. And this is where they cook the ducks. Ooh, it's just like a huge bunch and then a ball. And then sauce Wow, it's a lot of sauce. That's what it looks like. This place doesn't really give you skin like the other places. It's a store called France Kobe. And I just got these. Chocolate covered strawberries. I'm so excited. We I love are this. not now at Kyoto today. <laughs> and we just ordered from Kyoto. I'm going to order an order each. And Cindy's freaking out. But. Sneaking over there. And this is what this place looks like. It's very tiny. At the entrance, just coming. I think this is the miso paste. Mm. Yeah, sure. Hopefully that's better. Mm. This looks like some sort of plum thing. Oh, that's like the soy. And then this is probably vinegar. <laughs> 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 Try the wings are here. They're not that big, so we're okay. I made my sauce and I put some hot cheese stuff on it. I think there's also garlic there, but I don't know how to get it. Hot, hot, hot. We mix the sauce together. Mm. Maybe that was too much dip. We got these egg tarts from Lord Stowe's Bakery. Apparently, he's the creator of the egg tart now famous throughout Asia. Really? He's the creator of the egg tart? Shocked. Like the Portuguese style one, right? In some Ooh. covered shopping place now. I'm so full, guys. I had too much food. I ate my own seven dumplings. I said he only ate two of her dumplings because they wouldn't let us share a plate. So I ended up eating a dozen dumplings. And then they just got me an egg tart and I'm so full. It's painful to walk. Yeah. We're gonna go back. We found the alley. 
Oh, I gotta make some bubbles in Japan. We gave up because the lineup is insane for this alley. I don't know what it's. What? Pretty much made us walk back home. The day walking this is home. That's great. Save. Uh, oh no, we took the JR. <laughs> Exercise, man. Burn off the 12 gyozas or the custard tart. Diego said his favorite hobby was sitting, and I brought him here, and now he's all upset. Yeah, because we walk here. But now you're sitting. Yeah, but I had to walk here. But now you're here. sitting. Yeah, we're at a Nest Cafe, and I just got this matcha rich cream. And look, there's a little robot. So cute. It's Nest Cafe yeah. here. Okay. <laughs> It is rich. Hello. We have checked into our hotel in Kobe and it's called the Brenza Hotel and I think it's fairly new and it's really nice. So here's our door behind me when we come in and right next to the door is this little mini closet space. Bigger than any other closet I've ever seen in Japan. Then we have a full length mirror. And we have all this floor space. And this is like a huge American size suitcase. And look at it. There's a lot of floor space. The washroom's right here and Brandon's right there. I don't know what he's doing. The thinker maybe. <laughs> Here's the restroom and it looks like your typical Japanese restroom. Then there is the queen size bed with a huge television. And this space here. Hello, Brandon. This is the luggage stand. It's like a full bench. And then there's this like light thing <laughs> lamp and a desk and a mini chair that slides right under the desk. And then a huge, a huge, and this LED light's really bright, but there's also a clock on it. It's so cool. And there's outlets here, USB here. And also there's outlets over there. This is like, it's so simple and basic looking, but like one of the best let me feel the mattress first. One of the best hotels I've seen thus far in Japan. And this is in Kobe. Okay. To a tour road steak, Ioma. We have reservations at five, and we're just a little early. I'm so excited. I'm ready. I'm so excited. And there's the cook table. Mm -hmm. And it's only one tapanyaki table. Okay, it's exciting. Why are you wearing this? It went all dark on this. Basic. Tin maybe in Japan. Not maybe in China. I cannot sell. <laughs> Salt and ponzu sauce. One way English. One it's good. Oh, baby. One way English. Put oil on the girl and put the It's a video, it's a video. <laughs> you look good. But so she's my wife. Oh. oh. <laughs> Too late. So sorry. Hi, this here. We have smoked duck, shrimp squid, and something carpaccio. Red snapper. I forgot. Shrimp. Fried. Pipe. Tuna with something. Prosciutto? <laughs> Short term memory doesn't think they're all so organized. 
Uh, here, and it's the same recipe that they've been serving for 86 years. Doing the beef mat. Oh. Almost like skewers, but not skewers. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. So She's exciting. And here's the fat. Those are the ingredients for the fried rice. Rendering the fat. Fried rice in the mega. Oh, we're right. Rice time. Fried rice. There's beef in it. Needs matcha. Dessert. This cake is made with cherry blossom. And that's matcha ice cream. The guy's got chocolate cake and strawberry ice cream. Dessert.